So next we have solving equations, not by adding or, or subtracting like the last lesson. This is solving equations by using multiplying and dividing. Sl slightly different topic, but the same old four steps as we always do. The first step when you're trying to figure out how to solve an equation is see what is being done to the letter. Then do the opposite. Then do the same to the other side. That will allow you to, when it's all done, cancel out and then do the math. When you do all that, the letter will be happy because it'll be by itself on one side of the equal sign. So, doing the four steps with this problem here. 4x equals 8. I hope you remember what this means. What is the 4 doing to the x? Well, there's nothing in between the 4 and the x, so they are multiplying. This is 4 times x equals 8. Or, another way to say this problem, 4 times something equals 8. Now, I know a lot of you have just right now can think of the answer. We're not that concerned about the answer. It's the steps. It's the steps. It's the steps. So, we first figured out that what's being done to the letter is that it's being multiplied. We do the opposite of multiplying. The opposite of multiplying, which is dividing. So instead of multiplying by 4, to get rid of this 4, we're going to do the opposite of what it's doing to the letter. Opposite of multiplying is dividing by 4. Now we're not going to do this lame divided by sign thing. That's done. That is an elementary school way of doing divided by. This is how you divide by 4, showing like this, divided by 4. Do the same to the other side. Divide this side by 4. Now watch. What happens with these 4's? Well these 4's are going to cancel out. Now unlike the last topic, when they cancelled out they became 0. Here, what happens is 4 divided by 4 is 1. But 1x and just plain old x mean the same thing. Like no one does 1x, that's just ridiculous. Just put x. So by doing this, we're left with, on this side of the equal sign, just plain old x. Because the 4's have cancelled out. Line up the equal sign, 8 divided by 4 is 2. That's it. You knew that was the answer, and there we've proven it using algebra. <clears throat> okay, um, this one here. 13 times some number x equals 39. Same thing. The 13 is bugging the x. How is it bugging it? It is multiplying it. Do the opposite of multiplying, which is dividing. So we divide this side by 13. Do the same to the other side. Divide by 13. This thing cancels out the 13s. We're just left with x here. There's the equal sign. 39 divided by 13. Yeah, you're allowed to use a calculator if you have to. Is 3. Easy. Now, remember, you can also do the check thing. Um, when you want to do a check for, say, something like this, this problem here. Just really quickly, I'll show you how to do the check. So you write the original question out, 4x equals 8, 4x equals 8, and now we're going to sub in what we think the answer is. We thought it was that x was equal to 2, so we're going to put a 2 in for x. And remember, when you sub in something, you put it in brackets. So we put 4 and a 2 in brackets equals 8. What is 4 times 2? It's 8. 8 both sides of the equal sign of the equation are equal. That's right. So when they when they equal each other, you know that you've got the right answer. Okay. Moving on to slightly trickier questions. How about this pair? 
for x equals negative 12. Same thing, what's being done to the letter? It's being multiplied by 4. Well, you want to get rid of the 4, divide by 4. Do the same to the other side. This cancels out the 4s. You're left with just x and an equal sign. And now it's negative 12 divided by 4. Signs are different. It's negative 12 divided by 4 is 3. The answer is negative 3. Done. Okay, now this one is going to cause a lot of problems for people. Um, so pay attention. What is being done to the x? It is being multiplied by what? Negative 3. So what is the opposite of multiplying by negative 3? The answer is dividing by negative 3. Do the same to the other side. Divide by negative 3. The negative 3's cancel out. You're left with just x. There's the equal sign. Negative 9 divided by negative 3. Signs are the same. 9 divided by 3 is 3. The answer is 3, or positive 3. Now, that's the right way to do it. What some silly children will do when they get a question like this is they'll think, oh, okay, minus 3 opposite of minus 3 is plus 3. Plus 3, that's... no, 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 no. You have to see what the number is doing to the letter and do the opposite of that. It's the negative 3 multiplying the x. It's not x minus 3. It's negative 3 times x. So if you were thinking this, that's not going to work. This makes no sense. Negative 3x plus 3 is not going to get rid of the 3s. So be concerned about that. Be wary of that. <clears throat> See what's being done to the letter. Be very careful about that. All right, next up. What about this pair? Well, it just switched around. You usually have the x on this side, now I have the x on that side. <clears throat> I think I've chosen x for all the examples, whatever. So, same deal. Um, the x is what's being done to it. Well, it's being multiplied, because there's nothing in between the five and the x. It's being multiplied by negative five. So to get rid of multiplying by negative 5, we divide by negative 5. Do the same to the other side. The 5's then cancel out. You're left with x. 10 divided by negative 5 is negative 2. That's it. So negative 2 is x, or you can reverse it around if that bugs you. Okay, next. What about this? There's the letter. What's being done to the letter? It's being divided by 6. x divided by 6. Well, what's the opposite of dividing by 6? Multiplying by 6. So when you multiply, what, I, what you're going to do, and this sort of looks like a fraction, but like when, when you multiply by fractions, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this by 6. Now you can put 6 dot, you could put six in brackets. You could put six with a little timesing sign. I'm going to do the mature way of showing multiplying by putting in brackets. Six times x. It's these two that are multiplying each other. Do the same to the other side. Multiplying by six. Well, what do you see that we can cancel out now? The two sixes will cancel out. Six divided by six. Leaves you with x. 3 times 6 is 18. That's your answer. If, do, if you were to do a check on this question, just to make sure that you're right, write the original question out, which was x over 6 equals 3, and then you substitute in. Wherever you see an x, you'll put the 18. So I see the x, so I'll put 18 in brackets over 6 equals 3. 18 divided by 6 is 3. That matches this. I'm right. Okay, so more of these dividing questions. What if you had something like this? X divided by 4 equals negative 7. So 
So x is being divided by 4. The opposite of dividing by 4, multiplying by 4. So we multiply the top here. Let me just get rid of this example thing. It's going to confuse people. This is example 7. What's going to happen with these two 4s? They're going to cancel out. You're just left with x on this side. Oh, I forgot. Whatever we do to this side, which is times by 4, we have to do this side times this side by 4. Uh, signs are different. 4 times 7 is 28. It's negative 28. Done. This one here. Tricky, tricky, okay. tricky. It looks like the x already is by itself. Not quite. There's something bugging it. This. Now, it's so tempting to go, oh, a minus sign. I'll just put a plus in front. But you gotta think. There's always numbers around everywhere, and there actually is an imaginary number right here. Can you guess what it is? It's a 1. There's an imaginary 1 in front here. It's actually a real 1. So, this actually is negative 1 times x equals 14. We want to get rid of this negative 1. This negative 1 is multiplying the x. How do you get rid of something that is negative 1 and multiplying the x? Well, divide by negative 1. Divide by negative 1 when you do the same to the other side. The negative 1's are gone. You're left with just x. And then over here, 14 divided by negative 1. Signs are different. It's negative. 14 divided by 1 is 14. The answer is x equals negative 14. And that was a tricky one. All right. Let's do this with the letters like we did last time. Solve for A. We're told that A times B equals C. That's what that means. A times B. Nothing in between means it's multiply. Equals C. Solve for A means we want to get the A by itself. Well, the A is being bugged by the B. What is the B doing to the A? Like I said before, it's multiplying. How do you get rid of the B? Do the opposite. Divide by B. Do the same to the other side. Divide by B. What happens to the b's? Cancel them out. You're left with just a on this side. Find out the equal signs. c divided by b. Again, it makes no sense to me, makes no sense to you. We can't do anything with that, so it just stays. c divided by b. Done. So this is quite handy, this stuff, when you're asked to rearrange a formula. Like our good friend here, remember from science, d equals m over v. Density equals mass divided by volume. What if we wanted to figure out what mass is equal to? Here we know what density is equal to, mass over volume, but what is mass equal to? So what I'm saying is we want to solve for m. Let's get the m by itself. Well, to do that, what's being done to the m? The m is being divided by v volume. How do you get rid of this v? Well, it's being divided by v, so we're going to multiply by v. Multiply by v on this side, multiply by v on the other side, and do the same on the other side. What can we cancel out? Well, these v's can be canceled out. It's like v divided by v. You can sort of think that the divided by sign extends out all, all the way across, so these v's cancel out. You're left with just m, it's by itself. Mass equals volume times density. Or mass equals. You can put the other way around as well. And again, you can think that these two can be switched around. You can say mass equals density times volume. Anyways, that's how you can rearrange formulas using algebra. Here's one for you. Actually, the last one. Certain hockey team divided by the Stanley divided divided by cup equals Stanley. And I want you to solve for that legendary hockey team, the Boston Bruins. I want to get the Boston Bruins signed by itself. Well, it's being bugged by something. It's being divided by cup. How do you get rid of that cup? Well, dividing by cup, the opposite is 
multiplying by cup. Let me get rid of this here for a second. Being divided by cup, opposite of divided by cup is multiplying by cup. Do the same to the other side. Multiply by cup. The cups cancel out, and you're left with the Boston Bruins, and the Boston Bruins equal Stanley Cup. Like I said, there's nothing more true than a mathematical equation. And on that wonderful note, we'll talk to you later. Bye.